All right, shall we get started then? Session two begins thusly, and I don't know where to go, but let's wander. Let's figure it out. Oh, did I equip stuff properly last time? Okay, yeah, I got I got another notch at the end of the last bit, so I actually have the balder shell now, which gives me a hard shell when I focus, aka drink my Estus. How many nubs are there actually here? So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighteen, twenty-seven. Okay, so that's that's like a lot of collectibles. I am psyched to find more of them. I also am curious what to what scope these things will get to be, like what kind of badges we might even encounter. I'm just gonna take another peek back into the fungal waste. It might be a terrible idea because I'm not very strong, but let's see. I did get the, the map for it at least. Wait. Do I have to go? Oh, I have to go over the top. So pretty! I love how when I mentioned how I thought it was somewhat maybe prettier than Ori in the Blind Forest on the podcast. Oh, this is a secret wall. Probably a shortcut back up and out. Uh, somebody was like offended. They were like, hell no, this isn't prettier than Ori. It's like, no, I said it's just subjective, so. <laughs> Don't take it too seriously. It's okay. Oh no. I thought maybe they'd make a pass through just to make this a faster route to go down and out. Alright, yeah, I got, like, a lot of stuff covered here. Sure, I guess we'll head over to the left and right branches off of this. Oh, did you see that? He gets pissed off when you hit him. The little, the walking mushroom got, like, bright red. Is this so Oh! I didn't even realize there was acid there. I'm gonna need to learn the Super Metroid fall strats. Okay, so I don't think I've been in here at all yet. Oh, somebody's making weird sounds. Oh, that's a new buddy! I meet so many buddies in this game. Hi, buddy. What's up? And a save point. Even better. Don't try to sneak past me. I can smell you. I can smell you. Hmm. Do you collect a lot of Geo? Give me Geo and you can see something nice. Hell yeah. I want to see something nice right now. Is he going to show me a naked ladybug? Let me show you then. Take a look. Do you want them? If you really, really want them, I'll trade them for more Geo, more Geo. Give me smooth. Give me silky. Oh, it's a precious thing, a beautiful charm. I made it for you. If you hold it, you'll feel a lot healthier. If you're afraid of dying, you need this charm. So it's probably like shields on your hearts or something. Very, very special and valuable charm. If you want to find more Geo, hold this charm and go hunting. Then bring any Geo. Find back to me. Uh, you're weak, aren't you? You should give me Geo. If you do, I'll give you this charm I made. It'll make you stronger. Your enemies and everyone else will fear you at last. Fragile strength. Alright, well, these are good to know they're here. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can... Okay. He said don't go past him, so I thought maybe I'd go past him, because that's what I do. Alright, so I paid money to an NPC to be able to look at his vendor wear, which is weird. I don't fully trust that guy, but, you know, I'll... I guess I'll check out his, his stuff. Oh, I can't go this way yet. I guess I get immunity to that acid eventually, huh? I guess I'd be surprised if you didn't get that eventually. Okay, so we'll head down into the right then and see what stopped me over there. Is this all lantern area? No. 
Oh, it's the Wah guys. I thought it was dark in here for some reason. Dang, they're strong. At least they drop a decent amount of money, too. See how much these... Perfect dodges. See how much these guys drop. Mm, not as much as I would have hoped, actually. So this is a door. With, like, a freaking drawbridge. There's something up with this area. I don't quite understand what yet. I can't really see where the chains are attached to, either. But I see that it's, like, latched across the front of it, and it makes the tink sound of, like, I'm hitting metal. Oh, yeah, don't these things explode, like, freaking massively? Yeah, they do. I just wanted the money out of this corner. That's fine. Nope. Oh, I, I thought it killed itself for a second. Whoa, careful, 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 careful. Yeah, the game doesn't pause when you look at the map, so it's something to keep in mind. I smell a boss encounter already. Wait, maybe I don't? We remember the Elder. We do? Do you remember? I remember. <laughs> Alright, I guess this is something I come back to later, some event. Could this be the arena? I guess I want to head down into the right then. Some creepy sounds coming. What? What up? Oh, are we friends? Aha! The tiny steps of a tiny creature. You got the look of an adventurer. So we've much in common. Searching for dangerous places, I. Well, you're on the right track. A long neck critter warned me of a tribe deeper down. Warrior sorts. So she says, and I'm itching for some serious combat. Keep sharp, my adventurous friend. Stay alive and let's meet again on the road ahead. Of course. Well, nice to meet you. There's like purple bouncy mushroom area. That's cool. Oh. That's rude. The last, the last mushroom's top fell off. I still get to it from here. Long necked, yeah, there was a like a giraffe kind of bug that we ran into in the station. This is called like Elizabeth Crossing or something. Just gotta keep remembering to check all the walls. I don't know what's under me here. Can we look down? Okay, it looks safe. No, not a tall boy noodleman. Oh! What? Oh, a shortcut! Almost knocked myself completely out of it. Alright, that's handy. Now I don't have to go around the other way now. Just go straight into the acid instead. Your th oh, you're an explodey. Explodeyman. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Everybody calm down. Getting out of control here. There we go. It's a bit better. Back to full health at least. 
Oh, it's Needle Lady. Where's she going? She's going over to the right, I guess, where the real encounter begins. It looks like there's stuff down here, too. I don't know which way I should go. I guess I'll go down first. Oh, it's missiles. That did two! These are nuts. No more getting hit. That is illegal now. Uh-oh. No, jump! Oh, that didn't hit me. That one will! That was just a failure to jump properly. Okay, I'm scared. I think I can get up to that. It's like, there's no way to shoot over from there that would actually be useful. Thank you very much, Gabtrox, for the seven months resubscription. Very kind of you. Oh, are you- you're angry! Okay. Don't- don't do it. Oh, strong, too. Alright, so we've got a mantis to freaking worry about now. That's the mantis there. Oh, god. I don't know what to do with this. Okay, I thought that was more angry bugs, but I think this is... Yeah, this is just a decoration. I don't fully understand their range, I guess. Okay. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, I guess that's the trick. You hit him and then you dash away. Hit him, dash away. Although this positioning is very awkward for that. They're dashers. They're dashers and dancers and prancers. This shell's pretty sick. Oh god! I thought I was gonna fall off the screen. I didn't expect there to be a dude right there. Down and down. You're too slow. No, oh, no, you got me. That was a good way to raise money, anyway. I guess if you just bounce on their head, you can't, like, get hurt that way. <laughs> they seem very vulnerable. Ooh, save point coming up. There we go. Just avoid having to deal with that. Oh, God. Hope there's a nice reward for this. Oh, wow. That does three hits worth of damage. Okay, I need to find out where the save point is before we get involved. Oh, God. It's so deep! There it is. Cool, Mantis Village. This is not a door. Oh. This is. Yeah, I saw the mashups released yesterday. I had a couple people tweet them to me. 
this guy up to? Those are kind of like Geiger looking pipes. This is a door as well. There's like all these doors that are closed for some reason. Oh, what's this? The Dash Master! Dash Master Ass Blaster. There's a likeness of an eccentric bug known only as the Dash Master. The bear will be able to dash more often as well as dash downward. Perfect for those who want to move around as quickly as possible. Mm. I may consider replacing my balder shell with that. Also, that might be how you get into some of those, like, rattly floor areas. Alright, I guess our descent into the deepest, darkest depths was worth it. I still don't fully understand how to get to this guy. Must loop back around from the other side, then. Just try it out, I guess. I'll uh, I'll pop it on instead of my Baldur's Gate. A oh, second so down. Yeah, okay. You definitely down dash. I get that much. This is like speed run mode, I guess. But you cannot dash up, unfortunately. Okay, I don't know if this is necessarily the better, most wise decision, but we'll try it out for now. If you could only dash up, that would actually seal the deal. But then I guess it would be like a double jump, so that probably wouldn't... wouldn't be after, uh what they're trying to do. Damn it. Gotta get that Nat Geo. Bring them to me, Swarm! Whoa, did I, like, counter him? Did you see that? It went plunk. There's so much atmosphere. When I walk into a new area, I'm, like, just looking around, seeing what's going on. Oh, now you give me the Mantis Village nameplate. practically live in Mantis Village these days. Come on! You do better than that. Okay, so gotta get some way up there. Can't, like, hit this through the floor, right? That would be a little silly. Yeah, it looks like there's a door to get around it. Nailed the wall on it. This seems like prime wall jump territory. What's this? So many doors. I gotta get the doors open. Oh my god. Okay. Door? Oh, that door. I just gotta go around one more time, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing, or why I'm taking so much damage. But I'll have that lantern in freaking no time at this rate.
That's probably how I leave. The suspense! You can tempt me with shiny things so easily. The Mantis Claw! Press A while sliding against a wall to jump again. Jump from wall to wall to reach new areas. Fantastic! Oh, it's... Oh my god, it's same, same wall triangle jump style, too. It's like Mega Man X Dash. It's so easy to use. There's no there's no skill to it. You just go. I could wall jump forever on this. Well, that's a lot of fun. That's going to change everything. The you know, the vertical limits have been lifted to a large degree now. This seems like a massively beneficial thing to find. I guess I'm glad I came over here. Dash around that stuff. You just slide down the wall, right? That's Yeah, that's the thing I have now. And then just dash off the wall. So look at that. It's got me chaining moves and everything. And while I'm at it. Any idea how long this game is? Nope. And I kind of like that I don't know. 30 hours? Holy hell. That's amazing if that's true. That is an epic journey if I've ever heard of one. Oh, purge me too late. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Uh, I wonder if there's a badge that'll let me update the map in real time. I didn't realize that was a freaking hole in the ground there. You know, bugs are great at climbing walls. I feel like as a a member of that group, I should be able to climb them as well, so I feel like I've really come into my own at this point. What's this? Oh, we got more wall jump tests. It's fine, I'm down for it. What I love is that not only is the game combat oriented, but it also nails the platforming. Rarely do those things seem to exist in the same game for whatever reason. Like, this is actually very precise platforming and it feels good. Okay, so we're just opening up all the <laughs> doors uh, from the inside of this. Also appreciate that you can't accidentally reclose the doors because I forget all the time the things I already hit. Yeah, with style. Just got right out of the way at the right moment. So that's two. Oh my god, I freaking didn't see that guy there. Now I'm getting punished for it. That's uh, 1200. I think 1200 is what I needed for the lantern, or was it 16? Might have been 16. Is this game a Metroidvania? Yes, very much so. 
Oh, that looks like a boss. That's like the Mantis Council. I don't know if I'm ready for the Mantis Council. Oops. That was 1800? Okay, so you can get back up this way. These guys are, like, kind of stupid, thankfully. They seem to attack where I just was instead of where I'm going. So, I'm thankful for that. Did I get all of this? No, maybe not. Oh, this is bad. I'm gonna go this way now. Rude! What kind of mantis does that? Freaking trap mantis. You heard of Unexplored's new action roguelike came out seemed a couple days ago. Uh, yeah, I think I have. Sounds familiar. Wrecked. I guess I should do that more often, just have them lead themselves into some freaking spikes. Oh. Well, I don't need to get over there that badly. Let's see if we can get back over to the save point again, just very quickly. Oh, it's Quirrell. Hello again, I suppose you've already met with the tribe of this village, hmm? They seem a little distrustful of strangers, to put it lightly. They're not brutes, though, no. The sickness in the air that clouds the mind of lesser beasts, they resist it. They retain their intellect and their honor, though also their lethal traditions. As some words of advice, my friend. If you plan to challenge the lords of this tribe, your blunted nail may prove inadequate. There's a city nearby, the old capital of Hallownest. I've heard a nailsmith resides there. Seek the old bug out, and you may find progress that much easier. That's... That's some great advice, actually. I would love to get a sword upgrade. <laughs> Fantastic attack there, just run straight into him. Well, somebody was asking me yesterday about if there's weapon upgrades. I guess that kind of confirms them. Let's see if I can get down without taking more damage. Hooray! 